In this video, I want to walk you through how to use a great option called LAB Color to enhance the details in your images. This works great with landscape images, but you can also use it for close up or macro, but I really like using this for um, landscape. So the first thing we're going to do to this image before we do, I've only done, um, I did some masking. I had some spot healing I needed to do to get rid of some things on the image, but otherwise I have not edited the image. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to image mode and we're going to change it to LAB color. Now this is changing our color profile and in this video I'm not going to explain to you LAB color. I just want you to know that it's a different color profile and it's actually one of the largest color profiles. So converting our image to it is going to give us lots of options to really enhance the tones in the image. We will need to convert it back to RGB so that we can export the image and have it rendered properly. But for editing, we can convert it to LAB. Now it's going to ask if you want to merge and you can say OK. What it's going to do is basically flatten our image down to one layer. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to our adjustments and we're going to do a curves. Now when you click on curves, you're going to see right here that it's very different than a normal curve when you have RGB. So you're going to have three options. You have lightness, you have the A channel, and the B channel. So when we go to the A channel, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust these over. Now it's going to make things look funny at first. But we're going to come down and we're going to do the same amount to each. And what we're doing is we're just bringing out additional tones in the image that we wouldn't have otherwise. And so once you like what you see, we could of course go crazy with it, but I'm just going to try to adjust about the same amount on each side. I'm then going to go to the B channel and I'm going to do the same adjustment. I'm going to move this over and move this one over about the same amount. So it's already bringing out some different tones and colors and really opening up our color space. You can continue to tweak these um, as much as you want. So I think I'm going to bring that one to right there. All right, so that's the first step. So we can already see, if I turn this off, what a difference that's made in our image. It's very subtle. But look at how it's, it's lightened up, brought out the detail in these clouds, as well as in the mountains. So even if we look at our mountain layer, just look at the difference in the light and the colors. So what LAB Color does, again, it's giving you more tones and a larger color profile to edit your image with. All right, so the next option, we're going to do another curves adjustment. We're staying with LAB Color. We're going to keep it on lightness, and this is where we can bring out some of the details. We're going to apply a tone curve, and an S tone curve, basically. So we're going to come down, and we're just going to create an S curve. And we're going to bring those um, darks down just a little bit, and we're going to raise um, the brightness. Now, you can do this as much or as little as you want, and then sometimes I play with the midtones as well. Um, and what I want to do is I'm looking for the detail in the mountain. And so, actually, I may need to raise the darks just a little. I don't want it too dark over there in the corner, but just a little bit. And the blacks. No, I don't want to do that. So move them over just a little. That's really giving us some detail. I don't want that much. Okay, so I think I'm going to take the midtones and increase those just a little bit to brighten that. I'm really focused on the mountain detail. I'm not worried about the cloud right now. All right, so let's look at before and after and focus. Um, so I really like the detail that came out down here. Um, I'm not sure that it's working very much on the mountain. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually mask this. So we've got the mask layer here. We're going to come over with our brush. And I think the best thing to do actually would be to invert this. I'm going to do Command-I. 
And now what I'm gonna do is get a white brush and I'm gonna apply it where I want it. So I wanna bring out all this detail here in this mountain and even over here, but I don't want it in the water because I don't wanna over brighten that. I wanna leave all that nice warm color and I don't want it up here because I wanna leave this brighter. It's already got a lot of detail there, but I love what it did to these mountains. So let's turn this on and off. So that's before and that's after. What a difference. So I really like, like what that did. Um, so now we could do a tone curve the same way to increase the detail over here. So let's do another tone curve. And I'm gonna try to just pop the mid-tones and that is doing a great job of bringing out the detail over here. <clears throat> let's bring those blacks up a little bit too. And that's really gonna customize and bring out the detail in that, that mountain. All right, but it's blowing everything else out. So again, I'm gonna use the mask. I'm gonna invert and I'm gonna grab my white brush. And now I'm gonna brush in this detail that I was looking for. I'm gonna come around here. We're just gonna bring out, basically increasing the, um, bringing out the shadows. And get a smaller brush and come along here. So we're just customizing the image. Now I'm gonna flip it because I wanna make sure these edges aren't, don't have like a line in them. Um, so you have to get that. And I don't want this to get hazy. I liked the detail that we did earlier. So I'm just gonna go around those edges again. Now, if we wanna make some of this you know, snow area pop a little, you can just click on it and bring that out. And then I wanna come in here because I don't, again, flip it black back and forth to your black brush. I don't wanna impact the detail that we had just brought out. So I wanna leave that really sharp. All right, so now we've got this line taking us through our image and I really like that detail. So let's look at before and now we can see after. You just wanna keep double checking to make sure you haven't changed something that you don't like. Here's before with our mountain scene and here's after. All right, clouds are still looking nice. We haven't impacted anything with that since we did our initial adjustment. So that's just some of those gorgeous color tones we brought out. Um, so now we have an option to also do some adjustments related to the color. So I'm gonna show you another trick. We're still in LAB. I'm gonna do another curves. And this time I'm gonna go up to select and I'm gonna do color range. And I wanna come down and just find this blue. Now it's gonna pull the sky as well and that's okay, um, but I wanna make sure I've got this water selected. All right, so I'm gonna click okay. And now what we can do is we can adjust the blue tones. Now don't worry what it's doing to your sky. I'm just focused on the water and seeing how I can impact that. And of course we know we've got this gorgeous sunlight coming through um, and I may even move these in just a little bit, really tweaking. So we've got this on the lightness. I can also go to the B channel and yeah, I can bring this in to really get that dramatic blue that I'm looking for. So that's really increasing that. Now I like it here in the water, but I don't want all of those changes to the sky area. So we've got our mask already created and it was masking based on what we had selected. So now we need to come in and I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna see I need to flip it to black and I'm gonna take that off the areas that I don't want. So I do not want it in this cloud. So you see, I'm just brushing it off of this area. And I don't want all 
all that blue. Okay, so that's coming together um, pretty nicely. Now you could also do the same thing for your whites and the whites on the mountain. So we can do another curves. And what I'm gonna do again is go to select and I'm gonna do color range. I'm gonna come down and select this area. We can see it right there, it's all highlighted. And now I'm gonna give it just a pop of bright. I want it on those mountains, so let's look at it before and after. The mountains really pop, but I don't want it on the rest of the image. So again, I'm gonna come over here, get my black brush, and I'm gonna take it off. So we're just gonna come around and remove all of that brightness except, I don't want it in this water either, except the edges of the mountains. All right, so now we can look at it before and after. It's a really subtle dis difference. Um, I also don't want it right there, so I'm gonna mask that off. It's a really subtle but it's just giving you those fine tuning moments, um, fine tuning you know, of the edges and the details in your image. So once you're done, you wanna go back up to image and you wanna to go to mode and you wanna change it back to RGB color. And it's gonna ask you if you want to merge and you're gonna say yes, you wanna merge all these layers back together. And then now you've got your image that you can continue to edit. So I hope you will try using LED color in some of the steps to enhance your images.